everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and we are here for Jeff's Corner, and he has awesome sci-fi memorabilia. What are we looking at today, Jeff? Today we're looking at the Star Trek original series hand phaser, but this one is a universal remote control. A re universal remote control. Crack it open and let's see what we can expect in this review. In this review, you can expect to see Ooh, the Type 1 and Type 2. Look at this. The, look at that. So this is the Type 1? Yes. And then when you put the Type 1 into this body, you screw this part in, right? Yeah. And that completes the Type 2 phaser. Wow. Again, really good presentation here by, uh, by the one company. Uh, in our last review, we did the communicator, uh, the Bluetooth communicator. It was excellent. And I'm wondering if this is on the same level. So uh, Jeff's going to review it for you, and we're going to see if it's worth your money. When you think of the original Star Trek series, what do you think of? The Enterprise, the Hot Orion Girls, Captain Kirk, the Hot Orion Girls, Commander Spock, other hot aliens, and lastly, the hand phasers. Okay, maybe not in that order, and maybe I'm missing a few things. So today, we're going to review the Wan Company's original series phaser remote control. This is a fully programmable infrared remote control that you can use to control things like your TV, your Blu-ray, your DVD, or your laser disc player. Basically almost anything with an IR receiver. Let's go over what you get. You get the full color manual, an awesome case, an assembly tool, the display base, and the hand phaser itself. The phaser packed inside is both the Type 1 hand phaser and the Type 2 phaser pistol grip from the original Star Trek series. The Type 1 phaser is, a, is the control unit. This is what you program to control your devices. The build is very good and highly detailed. The unit is ABS plastic with metal and polycarbonate trimmings. The buttons have good tactile feel when pressed. The clear half round button with the PC and FX label shows you what mode you are in and is how you change modes. The P mode is the practice mode, which lets you get used to the motions that activate the assigned controls. The C mode is the control mode. In this mode, you can control your devices after you've programmed them. The control scheme is motion based, so you have to use certain gestures in order to control your devices. The FX mode is basically why you buy this. It lets you play eight different sounds from various hand weapons used in the show, as well as the self-destruct, but can only be selected when mounted in the pistol grip. The Type 1 unit is also where you charge it using a standard micro USB connection. The Type 2 pistol grip is again a plastic base with metal trimmings. The hand grip is a solid metal piece with substantial heft. The grip has a dial for changing the sound bites played while in the various modes. The detail on the grip is very well done from the adjustable beam focus to the amplifying crystal chamber. The metal base is engraved with USS Enterprise standard issue phaser. The included assembly tool is a well-made metal screwdriver in a, in a plastic handle and cover. The case has a nice molded foam inset that keeps the phaser safe and secure while stored inside. At the end of the day, this is an excellent display piece with nice features and a good build. But Jeff, how well does it control your devices? I don't know, never used it for that. Okay, everyone, let's break this review down. So I guess my question for you, Jeff, is why did you buy this and how much was it exactly? It was, again, it was 150 bucks. Okay, so uh, it's about the same price as yeah. the Bluetooth communicator. And I bought it because it's the Star Trek original series hand phaser. Whoa, hold on a second. You did not buy this as a universal remote control for your TV. No. 
What? Why? Because, I mean, the Bluetooth communicator was so usable. Yeah, but this, as I said in the review, is based on motion controls. So mm -hmm. you basically, when you disassemble it, you have to push the button and then move it up or down mm -hmm. in order to function. But with today's, you have your television, right. your cable box or satellite box, right. or whatever else you have attached to your television. While this has many banks that could let you control things, try changing the control banks. So I was like, okay, so channel up, channel down, set volume up, volume down. And then now you have to change control bank. I need the menu from my, from my, from my. And this doesn't give you the, the menu. Well, for... no, you can program it for the menu. So you can't program it to do everything, but it's just an inconvenience. Yeah, what you're saying? because you have, okay. Cause there's only nine commands per memory bank, and there's four memory banks. Wow, that's kind of a lot though. Yeah, so there's 36 commands, but it's, you're sitting there trying to scroll through your television, so it's like, if I just want to do channel up, channel down, mm -hmm. then I want to, then you have to change the open, like if you have a cable box or a satellite, you have to open the menu, mm -hmm. then you have to hit the button, open the menu, and then it's like sitting there, and you, okay, now to scroll through the menu, normally they use the channel up, channel down, so you have to switch back to the other thing in order to oh my use gosh. The channel up or channel down. So this is just one, <laughs> a, a cool, mind you, this is a cool inconvenience is pretty much what you're saying. Yeah, it's not, the FX mode is what you would is what I really suggest you buy this for, because in the FX mode, you can play different sounds, like I said, in this Get, review. Hey, here, turn it on, let's hear it. So in the FX mode, you can play sounds like the destruct. It's really awesome. I love this thing. It looks really cool. The all metal construction, everything is just, it's an excellent prop. But like Jeff said, um, I've been playing around with it. I just don't think this is usable as a universal remote gun. Or maybe you might think it, it is. I don't know. It's just why when you have a regular controller that you don't have to do motion controls with. So it is cool, it does all the sound effects, it's very like heavy duty, <coughs> I love everything about it. the build quality, it's just amazing. But uh, yeah, we both agree that this just is not a controller. Well, yeah, because the other issue is, is that you, while this is obviously cool, now when you do this, your motion controls change. Mm. So if you mounted it in the pistol grip, the motion control, the way that you, yeah, up and down and left and right still work, but there's a twist, but the twist is based along the center line of the, or what I've found, maybe some Right, so that inconvenient twist won't give it the correct command. Right, so instead saying? of twisting okay. like this, you actually end up twisting like this. Oh, that is, that's, that's inconvenient. Yeah, yeah, so again, there's many positives to this thing as it is for a display piece or something that you want to play around with. Right. As a remote control, you can get a $20 universal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so uh, that's our recommendation. Buy this as an excellent uh, piece to have around your house. Not necessarily used for a remote control. All right, uh, I guess that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like to say, Jeff? Mm, no, just when you guys make comments, leave something below if you want me to do something slightly different. Oh, right, yeah. Because yeah. I have, like I said, in the he other... He has a lot of stuff. I have... Some statues. I have some figure, some Figma statue uh, figures. I got a lot of gadgets. So, all right, yeah. So rate in the uh, rate comment and everything like like that down below. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Oh, I turned it off. I t oh, okay. Hold on. No, it's on. It's, it's on. Now do it. Okay. I would be so. I would be dead, huh? Yeah. I, I, you had the safety off. I had, oh. I'm a red shirt, huh? Yeah. <sighs> hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah. The Ooh, and, and, look at this. Look at this. This is nice. This is actually a terrible run. <laughs> Well, why? Because I forgot to mention that it was a phaser. Oh, okay. All right, let's, let's do it over. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll put that in.